I'm disturbed and distressed by the renewed military activity in Rafa by the Israeli Defense Forces. Haven't civilians suffered enough death and destruction? Make no mistake, a full-scale assault on Rafa would be a human catastrophe. I urge the government of Israel to stop any escalation and engage constructively in the ongoing diplomatic talks. <laughs> news, Israel has launched devastating strikes against Rafah after the ceasefire talks fell apart. I was one of 37 Democrats to vote no to offensive weapons to Israel. I now will be introducing an amendment to the Armed Services Committee to stop offensive weapons to Israel until they stop the invasion of Rafah. We're moving ahead with plans to move into the southern Gaza city of Rafah. That's where Israel says thousands of Hamas fighters are hiding. Now, this video is from earlier today, showing smoke rising from explosions as Israel's military carried out those airstrikes. Israel is ordering Palestinians who are in eastern Rafah, that's the red part on the map, to evacuate and go to an area outside the city. That's those yellow and white areas. This order could affect around 100,000 people, and a UN agency that works with Palestinian refugees says this could be a humanitarian catastrophe. I believe Palestinian lives matter just as much as any other lives, and I've always said that. Always. It's not manifesting your framing, brother. It's right. not manifesting your framing. Just use the the word, don't throw around the word racist without any evidence to support I, I don't. the fact that I'm a racist. A lot of evidence, and I've been hearing the evidence, and I throw it around. It's not throwing around. It's a reality. Me, me, me saying it is yeah. wrong that Jewish students are being harassed is not racism because I'm not also talking about university people in Gaza. Believe Palestinian lives matter just as much as any other lives, and I've. <laughs> controlling the Rafah border, Israel is controlling the area of Karim Shalom, Israel is not allowing the entry of the humanitarian aid to Gaza, which is perceived as a lifeline for the people of Gaza. Gaza needs 1,000 trucks of food aid, of food supplies every day. Gaza has been receiving in the very first days of the crisis, five trucks, six trucks, 10 trucks, 30 trucks, and Gaza in the recent days before the Passover was receiving around 230 trucks, still below the minimum, but now there's nothing, not even the minimum, and Gaza is likely to continue suffering, and I think that is going to bring about more hunger, more starvation, and more death and suffering. Pro-Palestinian protest disrupted University of Michigan commencement with calls to divest from companies tied to Israel, with the ceremony proceeding peacefully amid mixed reactions from students and faculty.
الصغير يقف مع هالمسلمين يا رب مرة واحد كل واحد من هالزحين على بيوتهم يا رب مناش إلا الله يا رب كل واحد عنده ضمير يقف مع المسلمين يا رب يا رب مع النازحين والناس الغلابة المشردة الاحتلال <تصفيق> More than 34,000 Palestinians killed in Gaza. Haven't we seen enough? Haven't civilians suffered enough death and destruction? Make no mistake, a full-scale assault on Rafah would be a human catastrophe. Even the Israeli military killed more than 95 university professors, hundreds of teachers, and thousands of students in what has been a devastating assault on Palestinian education. All major universities in Gaza, including the Islamic University, Al-Azhar, Al-Isra, have been destroyed. And as students globally continue to rise and voice their protest against the genocide in Gaza, we must remember and mourn the enormous losses suffered by the educational community. And I, I call on the student movement to pay tribute to the countless educators and students who have uh, who have perished under Israel's bombs. This is this is the best way to honor our colleagues and and um, and, uh, and and those who uh, have carried the message of education in Gaza and unfortunately have been murdered by Israel. discuss the little Gazas that have risen up on campuses across America and the liberal college administrators and politicians who refuse to restore law and order and to protect other students. These little Gazas are disgusting cesspools of anti-Semitic hate, full of pro-Hamas sympathizers, fanatics, and freaks. The terrorist sympathizers in these little Gazas aren't peacefully protesting Israel's conduct of the war violently and illegally demanding death for Israel. These criminals are chanting eliminationist slogans like, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. We're here to discuss the little Gazas that have risen up on campuses across America and the liberal college administrators and politicians who refuse to restore law and order and to protect other students. These little Gazas are disgusting cesspools of anti-Semitic hate, full of pro-Hamas sympathizers, fanatics, and freaks. The terrorist sympathizers in these little Gazas aren't peacefully protesting Israel's conduct of the war. They're violently and illegally demanding death for Israel. These criminals are chanting eliminationist slogans like, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. We're here to discuss the little Gazas that have risen up on campuses across America and the liberal college administrators and politicians who refuse to restore law and order and to protect other students. These little Gazas are disgusting cesspools of anti-Semitic hate, full of pro-Hamas sympathizers, fanatics, and freaks. The terrorist sympathizers in these little Gazas aren't peacefully protesting Israel's conduct of the war. They're violently and illegally demanding death for Israel. 